G'day guys, I just wanted to do a really quick tutorial on how to get the telemetry to be shown up on your Tyrannus. So let's get started. What we need to do is hit menu and select the appropriate profile that you want to use. Holding the page button to scroll backwards, we'll scroll back a couple of screens until we hit logical switches. Um, I've got RSSI already set on my first one, so I'll select logical switch number two. So I just scroll down using the down arrow and we'll scroll over to pick up the first input. Um, hitting enter, I'll allow the thing to scroll through until we get A is less than X. Hit enter, scroll to the next one. And what we're looking for here is to display let's say uh, cells so that's the dual well that's all of the cells that are present in a pack not just reading the individual cell but my interpretation of what I read is it um, states that cells is derived as a multiplier of cell so it's probably not as accurate as your cells pack but it's accurate on each individual cell. So there we go, we've got cells here and uh, for the demonstration I've got a 3S pack so why don't we set a value of um, around 12 volts because I know that the unit is not anywhere up near 12 volts and that will give us the ability to have an audible alarm at the end of this. So we'll scroll up and we'll set the threshold val value of 12 volts. So what this is saying is that if A is less than X, so if the value of what's displayed is less than, in this case, 12 volts for the cell pack, then what we... So what this is saying is that if A is less than X, or A being the actual value... If A is less than... So what it's saying is... So what it's saying is, if the cell pack is less than 12 volts, it will do a display of the voltage. So um, that's all we need to do under the logical switches. So we'll go to, the, we'll just hit page and go to the next one. And we'll go into special functions and scroll down to a spare slot. Um, so we'll pick special function number seven. Here we'll enter it and we need to select L2, which was the line item that we had previously configured. So there's L2 and what we want it to do is play a value. Oops. Um, and that value that we want to play of course will be the output of the value. So not track. Here we go. Play value and we'll scroll over and what we want is for it to display or tell us the cell voltage. So we'll go over to cells I can find it. Sometimes it takes a while to scroll through everything. Time and let's be close. Cells, there we go. And we'll have it read out um, just for this example every three seconds of value. Okay, that's all we need in this section. Okay, so I've just jumped out to the main section and what I want to have here is I want to be able to display the pack information. So that's the cells and potentially something else like the RSSI and whatnot, which is all part of the telemetry that we can gather. Um, and to do that, what we need to do is uh, configure it in the Tyrannus, which is quite simple. So once again, we'll go into the menu and we'll select the profile that we want and just hold the button wants to get back into telemetry. If we now scroll down towards the bottom, we'll see that um, we have a number of screen outputs that we can choose from. So here's uh, screen one, and what we'll do is enter that, and we'll have some parameters that we can put in. So the first one we'll do is RSSI. Um, so I'll select that, scroll over to the second one, and I want to display maybe the cell, and actually there's an interesting one. We'll pick RPM, because that's also fed through telemetry, and for the last one we might pick 
we'll just do the cells so that's um, the full pack uh, and you can add any anyone that you want um, to this list okay so if we go back out out to the main page and we hold down page what we see here is now we've got RSSI RPM and cells displayed so let's turn on the um, the unit and we'll see the telemetry come through because um, in this case what we've got is the soft serials enabled and so we know that with soft serial that we don't have to arm the board for it to uh, start transmitting the telemetry data so let's go ahead and do that okay so I'm just going to plug in the battery and we should see the telemetry come through zero volts 3.8 volts 11.5 volts 11.5 volts awesome so now we see the RSSI on the left volts, we don't see any RPM volts, of course we get a reading for cells volts, because we set the threshold volts, 40 dB RSSI critical right now we've lost data because I've just unplugged it so we, we get a reading because it was under the 12 volt threshold that we had before so um, just to show you how that works um, we'll just exit out of that. We'll go back into the menu under, whoops, I went the wrong way, under telemetry, and we'll scroll down again. And we'll set that threshold back up for cells on menu to be, let's say, a value of 11. Point zero volts because we know that'll be over the top of the voltage that we've got we'll go back out on exit go to menu oops i'll hold the button and go back to the settings from the back 43 in. db and we should see the battery voltage come back up so it's at 11.5 volts and stable and of course now we don't get the reading of the output but once it the cell voltage for the pack drops to 11.4 volts um, of course it will start to read out because that's what we've told it to do so thanks guys i hope you found this tutorial interesting and i hope you can use it in your flying and if you'd like what you see i've got a number of other quick tutorials that you can go and check uh, on my channel so please subscribe because i'm always posting new ones and have a great day cheers for now